Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and I really hope that my videos will entertain and will actually um, do a little bit of um, educational and uh, some information that will help um, a lot of people to make their decisions about a particular handbags. And today's bag of the day is from the Louis Vuitton, as you can see. It is the Alma BB. I do own three of them. And it is also one of the reasons why I've decided to let this one go. As you can see, I'll be using my white glove. This is a limited edition Alma BB. It was actually released last year just towards the fall winter cruise collections. It was one of the hardest Alma BB to get because it is sold out nearly everywhere. And it took my SA to get this particular style over a month to get it. I think she might have to order it all the way from the States. And we waited for over a month. And when I got this back, I was so happy. But unfortunately, because of my circumstances, I do decide to let go some of my collections. It will be featured on my Instagram account. And this is the limited edition Alma BB in the Vernice leather. It is still brand new because I have not used this bag. I've, I've always been using my Alma BB in the Damia for some reason. And I haven't been using this. Just a little bit of history with the Vernice ladder. What Vernice means is it is a patent ladder with the monogram. So the definition of Vernice, it simply means patent ladder with the Louis Vuitton monogram and both upon the ladder itself. So it is a coated ladder with the monogram. And it was actually introduced by Mark Jacob. He was the one that introduced patent ladder in 1997 when he took over the Louis Vuitton as the executive creative director. He actually introduced the Vernice ladder to the Louis Vuitton line. And it has been gaining popularity and it has been going on for over 20 years now. And the fact that the Alma BB was introduced in 1930s and um, apparently it was introduced because Coco Chanel herself wanted a bag to be created for her. So the Alma has been around for over 80 years and the Vernice ladder has been around for over 30 years. Sorry, over 20 years now since it was introduced in 97. So this is the grey charcoal. They actually call it the charcoal vernis ladder. I was so intrigued by it because of the fact that it actually uses ladder and it does have the monogram on the handle as you can see. Monogram on the base and the feet is gold hardware and it also has the epi ladder as the tag. So you can see from here, that's the Epi Ladder. And I just love this bag. But for some reason, I have not been reaching out for it. Maybe because of all the three Alma BB that I have. This is actually one of the, um, I would say one of the shiniest if that makes sense so i was just trying to be very cautious with it and that's probably the reasons why i have not been reaching out for it and i do have to take care of it because of the patent ladder and as you can see i have not used this at all the patent ladder it is still shining and there are no mark or stain whatsoever but let me just go through the actual bag itself it does come with the gold hardware and it they do have the hook here and here for the shoulder strap which you can use it for crossbody and let me just show you what it is on the inside the shoulder strap is actually in epi leather which is the same as the tag See how it is the same? This is in Epi Ladder. So basically you have three different kind of ladder with the actual 
vernis for these collections. You have the vernis, you have the epi, and you do have the monogram style on the base and the handle. So it is a very unique bag. The shoulder strap is not adjustable. However, it is long enough for a crossbody and it is also thicker than the normal Alma BB. And I'm just going to show you the difference in terms of the shoulder strap weave. This is my Damier shoulder strap. See the difference? Look at how thick that one is. For some reason, for the vernis, for this particular vernis style, they make the shoulder strap thicker. So maybe that's because of the fact that it is a little bit heavier because of the patent leather. But I actually find it pretty much, in terms of the weight itself, it is very similar to my Epi Leather Alma BB. In terms of the weight, they weigh pretty much the same. And in terms of the inside, let me just show you what, see, that is the, the lock that comes with it. And that is the key, the key is in there. And the gold hardware, it, it is still with the plastic sticker attached. I have not removed that. And if you look at the back pocket, it is also in that unique monogram style and the interior is actually microfiber in black. You can see it is in black and it is clean on the inside because I have not used that. I love the monogram. It just pops up in the right places, if that makes sense. And this is the Vernice Alma BB. And I will actually list this on my Instagram account and it will be listed above retail price uh, because I do realize that this is a limited edition. It is brand new and it is virtually difficult to get it at this time. And um, if it's not going to be sold, I will still hang on to it. But if um, you're interested or if you do have any questions, do let me know. And also, thank you so much for watching. This is the bag of the day for today. And please stay safe. Thank you.